Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. In this video, we are going to be removing and reinstalling a clock spring in a 2008 Subaru Outback. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. We're going to disconnect the battery. We're going to use a 10 millimeter wrench. Disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Loosen this up, twist it back and forth. Pull that out of the way. We're going to remove the airbag. You want to make sure your steering wheel is centered. And then we're going to take a T30 and an extension and a ratchet. And there's a little T30 bolt in there. You're going to want to get in there and loosen it up. Subaru recommends that when you disconnect the battery, you wait 20 seconds before doing any work on the airbag system. And then the same on the other side. Now we'll grab our airbag, twist up, disconnect this connector. I'm going to use a right angle pick and pry up underneath. Set that out of the way. And we're going to disconnect these airbag connectors. Take the pick, go right under here, under the lock. And I can pry up under here. And it'll come right out. Being careful not to break the lock. And then pry that right out. Then we can put our airbag aside. Make sure you set it down like that with the emblem facing up. We're going to disconnect this electrical connector. We're going to take and squeeze this little button here. It may be difficult, so I'm going to use a little pick. Give me a hand and then pull it out. So right there, you want to push down on that. And it can come out and go to the side. Before we disconnect, take off the nut, we are going to mark it with a felt tip marker because this is not keyed. So you want to make a mark on where it was. And with a 17 millimeter socket, extension and a ratchet. Take off this nut, break it free, and then once it's free, you should be able to loosen up. Make sure that steering wheel is straight still. Before I take the nut off, I'm gonna wiggle the steering wheel a little bit. That way the nut, the steering wheel will not hit you in the face. And you pull it off. Now we can take our nut off completely. And I'll just take the felt tip marker again, just make this line a little bit better so that it lines up. We can pull our steering wheel off. Keep in mind that you do not want this clock spring to spin. Um, if it spins on its own and does not get indexed properly, it will break. So just make sure that doesn't spin when you pull the steering wheel off. Next, we're going to take this cover off, but before I do that, just make sure you keep your hand up here or just keep in mind that this doesn't spin. So once we get this off, we'll tape it. So uh, There's a Phillips head screw right here. We're going to use a Phillips head screwdriver. I can grab the sides here. Comes out like that. Now I'm going to lower the adjuster down here so that I can get this cover off. And then I'll slide right out. And while I'm at this point, I'm just going to tape this so that it won't spin. Take a piece of tape, go like this. And that'll at least hold it from spinning. So I'm going to pull the upper cover off. There's a little Phillips head screw back here. It's kind of hard to reach. So it's good to have a long screwdriver. 
We have the adjuster down while we're taking this out, just to access the screw a little bit better. There's another hidden screw right here. Loosen that up. Take this one out with our Phillips head screwdriver. And then looks like there's another one right here. It's way up there. Pull this one out as well. All right. I'm going to lower the steering column and pull this right up. And that's where the three screws mounted. Next, we're going to take these four screws out. Phillips head screwdriver. Like so. And you can grab it. You can pull it forward. Now, this, this wire and harness is in our way a little bit. So I'm going to use a 90 degree pick and pull up on the lock under this. So that, move that out of the way a little bit. And then our connectors for our clock spring are over here. I'm going to use a trim tool, pry up underneath the connectors. This one out of the way, and then pull this white one out of the way. Try to get underneath where the retainer is. Pull this out of the way. The white one, we're gonna push the button right here. Pull that connector out. Now we're gonna disconnect this connector. Um, we were having trouble pushing this down to get it to disconnect. So take a straight blade screwdriver, hold it with your hand on the sides and push and the connector will pop right out. Next we're gonna fish our wires out. We'll use a straight blade screwdriver and pull this out a little bit so that our wires can come. Pull it down. We can pull our wires through here Try to get one connector through this bracket at a time. Pull that connector out first. Pull the white connector next. And there's your clock spring. So um, I just pulled the tape back on this real quick. Uh, you can see there there is two arrows. That's when those are lined up that means that the steering wheel is going straight. Um, we're going to reuse our clock spring, but if you have a new one, there may be a lock right here that once you install it, you're going to pull that out. So I'll reinstall that tape so it doesn't spin. And then I'm going to start putting these wires back through here. Start with the white one. Feed it through. Then the yellow one, push it through like that. And we're gonna slide this down. While I'm pushing the wires down here. Before I put the screws in, I'm gonna push these wires through here. I'm gonna reinstall the four screws. I'll just get them started first before I snug them all down. Now we'll snug them all down. Remember it's plastic, so don't over tighten them. Now we're gonna go over to the connectors. We'll connect this white connector right here until it clicks. We can install this tab right there and then just flip this yellow one around connect the yellow connector push that till it locks and this one goes in the hole right next to it just like that
And we're going to reposition the wiring harness so that it locks into this bracket. Clicks in. Now we're going to install this top cover. Just slide it over here. You're going to want to make sure that you adjust the steering column down. And then this will line up here. I'll pull the pull the adjuster down for the steering wheel column and then try to get this back one in first. Now I'm going to try to get this front one in. And then this one. Now all three are started. Now I can snug them all down. I'm gonna install this lower cover, but I have to pull this tape off the clock spring. So keep in mind, making sure this does not spin. Could actually tape up here, tape it to the top panel. Get all this lined up. Lock that all into place. And we can take our screw and stick the last screw in here. Now we're gonna feed these wires through the steering wheel here. Remember, line the steering wheel up with your marks. You don't want the steering wheel to be crooked while you're driving it. So that will be good. And we can plug this connector back in right here. Like that. Next we'll install our nut. We're going to use a 17 millimeter socket and extension and our torque wrench. We're going to torque this to 28 foot pounds. You're going to have to hold the wheel while you're torquing it. You can grab your airbag. We'll connect these airbag connectors first. Make the black one to the black and then push down the lock. And the orange one to the orange. Push down the lock. And we'll connect this connector right there. And we'll slide the airbag down. And we're gonna tighten these torques, the T30 torques screws. We'll snug that up. Do the same for the other side. Snug that up. And we can reconnect our battery. And take a 10 millimeter wrench, tighten it up. I'm going to take and just wiggle the negative terminal and make sure that's good. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.